What's going on, guys? Can you hear me? Okay. Sorry, kind of running late with this um, live stream. What's going on, everybody? I'm just trying to see. I just plugged in my microphone. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it because sometimes I have to go inside and actually um, make sure that the microphone is actually coming out of the Blue Yeti instead of just my um, computer. So if it sounds okay, let me double check right here. Yeah, it should be coming outside of the Yeti. Um, can you hear me? Okay. All right. So I don't really have a way to go into the um, comments. So um, I'm going to try to figure out a way to do that. Let's try that right here. Actually, let's unclose that tab. Real open close tab. And I'm just going to mute because there is going to be kind of a delay. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, what's going on, everybody? We got Catch a Little Fishing in here, Caden, Aaron Johnston, Tony, Oahu, Todd, Kibota, Catch a Little Fishing. Okay, all right. So is it laggy? Can you guys tell me? Are we good? Um, so I'm using a different live program, uh, Google Hangouts. So I'm going to be able to share my screen with you guys, and I'm going to show you guys the giveaway winners um, in real time. So usually when I do the giveaways, I do it on top of the Instagram, and then I um, post that video or I announce it on top of the YouTube channel in the following video. So this one I'm actually going to do it live on top of YouTube because that's kind of where all my focus has been as of lately. <clears throat> all right. So... Let's go right in. Okay, Todd said it's good. Um, Kaden says it's a little bit laggy still. How many of you guys entered the giveaway? I'm going to show you guys the giveaway winner right now. So I I told you guys I was going to pick two winners, and we're going to win a um, Fish and Dive Hawaii hat, the Underwater Assassin's hat. Not this one exactly, but um, we have a bunch of trucker hats. I'm going to give away two of them. Um, today and I'm also going to be doing a bonus giveaway. So Kovac said he couldn't get into the way we're going to be doing a giveaway soon So hopefully you can enter that one <clears throat> All right, so let's jump right in and um, We'll see if you guys won whoever's watching so Let's go over here right now All right, so we have all the giveaway winners here, or not the winners, but the all the giveaway um, the um, entries here. So um, what's going to happen is I'm going to click the randomize feature, and then um, we're going to go ahead and whoever's going to be number one is going to be the first winner, and I'm going to randomize it again, and then whoever's number one is the second winner, and I'm also doing a bonus giveaway winner. So let's go ahead and do that. Randomize. Here we go. I think we got 50 something entries, um, a lot of entries. So thanks a lot for guys for entering. First winner is, huh, hold on. First winner is the Wade Dude. What's up, Wade Dude? <laughs> you are the first winner. I don't know if you guys are in, if you're inside of the um, chat or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and save that um, into a doc. Hold on, let me switch this really quick. Can you guys see me now? All right, I just don't want you guys to see um, where I'm putting all the giveaway winner stuff because I'm gonna put it on top of my personal Google Docs. And then um, I'm going to put all the winners in there so I don't forget who won. So Wade is dude. Wade is the dude. The Wade dude. Sorry. <laughs> You're the first winner. All right, number two. Number two. Let's go back in here. Sorry, again, I'm getting used to this new program, which allows me to share my screen as I'm doing the live stream. So just bear with me. Okay. So the way to do it is the first one. Let's go back. Right here. 
All right, giveaway winner number two is going to be Kaylin Lee. Kaylin Lee, you are the second winner. I'll put you in right here. Okay, now let's do the third and final winner, which is going to be, this is the bonus winner. So you're gonna be winning something a little bit different. Um, I still haven't thought of it yet, but probably like a lure or something, one of my personal lures and some stickers. The third winner is Tyla. Tyla. So all these names right here, just for um, confidentiality purposes, um, I didn't include the end. These are all the emails, but I just took off the ats. So you guys cannot be emailing these people. I don't want anybody getting emailed by random people. So. Um, these are the three winners right here. Thank you guys all for um, entering. And um, yeah, let's go right into what else I'm going to be sharing. All right. So let's hop back into the comment section. Let's see if I can reload this right here. <clears throat> so I'm trying to figure out if any of you guys won. Sorry, this thing is going to be super laggy. <clears throat> All right, so let's go into what else we're gonna be talking about. I'm also gonna be doing kind of a Q&A if I can keep this thing updated. It seems like it's lagging a little bit um, on this Google Hangout, so just bear with me. Like I said, this is not um, this is not something I'm used to, this program exactly, this is Google Hangouts. So I'm just gonna go right into what else I was gonna share, which is kind of like our 2019 bucket list, and I'm just gonna jump right into it so 2019 bucket list for fish and dive hawaii is going to be this so if you guys are just joining the live stream um we are talking about the giveaway winners and um if you guys haven't heard who won just go back um after the video is done and you'll see who the winners are i'm also going to be emailing the winners tonight or tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening sometimes so just respond and then I'll let you guys how how you I'll let you know how you guys can get your prizes um, so let's jump right into this little 2019 bucket list we have for the channel I think it's gonna be really fun we can go over some stuff kind of like the goals that we have here let's jump right into it so this is our 2019 bucket list for fish and dive Hawaii and um, I just really wanted to go over it with you guys to kind of let you know what the channel is going to be going forward, kind of what the things I want to be doing, the video topics, um, travel topics, stuff like that, which you guys, um, if you're subscribed to the channel, these are things that hopefully you guys will be um, expecting in the near future because these are things I want to scratch off the bucket list because that's what you do. So let's jump right into it. The number one thing that I want to do for this channel is make awesome videos. So all of these bucket list topics are going to be um, just pretty much around making awesome content. And I think all of these separate little things is gonna make for awesome videos. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about my fishing and spear fishing goals here in Hawaii. As far as fishing, if you guys haven't watched my last, last episode, go ahead and watch that. Um, and um, in that I talked to you guys about how I haven't caught my first alua fishing it. I caught one diving, if you guys, it's right behind me on top of my um, fish print on my wall, mm -hmm. but I wanna catch an alua while spear fishing, or not while fishing. Um, the second thing I wanna do while fishing is to fish offshore, off on a boat. Um, I haven't done that in a while. The last time I did, we went bottom fishing, it was a lot of fun. Ended up catching a taco bottom fishing, which is kind of unusual. The third thing I want to third thing I want to do is catch a pelagic fish an ahi, mahi mahi, ono, marlin, whatever, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I want to catch a pelagic fish this year. The fourth thing I want to do is to fish on another island, something I haven't had a chance to do or haven't got a chance to do yet. I may be going to the Big Island in April, but we'll just see. Fingers crossed. And the fifth thing I want to do is to get a light tackle dumping set up. Um, I've been having my eye on those um, travel setups like Daiwa has that um, I can't forget I can't think of the name of it right now but it's a five piece um, little travel setup and I want to get like a really nice light tackle maybe like a small stratic reel 3000 um, the new fuegos the 3000s 
And the last thing I want to do is catch Moy whipping. So I know the season is going to be done um, in June, I think, is when it finishes. But until then, the water is going to be flattening out, and I have yet to catch a Moy whipping. I've caught them dunking before, um, but I haven't yet caught them whipping. So I'm going to try to go fishing more and more and try to catch these Moy with these lighter tackle setups because they are very challenging. You have to know what spots to go to, and um, it should be a lot of fun when I do go. <clears throat> so for spearfishing, diving, whatever you want to call it, the first thing you want to do is shoot in a luo over 30 pounds. The one behind me just barely made it at 10.8 or 11.8 pounds. I can't remember. Um, but that one I shot a few years ago. So I really, really want to shoot a big luo over 30 pounds. Obviously, is going to be a giant trevally or a white, um, a white luo. And um, I think it'd be a lot of fun if I could shoot a bigger Alua. And with that, um, maybe it's gonna be from blue water diving, which is number two. I wanna go out on a boat or my kayak, preferably on a boat, but um, I wanna go blue water diving, hopefully shoot some pelagic, some ukus, some bigger game. I think it'd be a lot of fun, make for a really awesome episode. And I know that has been something that you guys have been suggesting in the past. The third thing I wanna do is shoot a big uku which is a green job fish, whether it be blue water diving or just reef diving. It's one fish that I want to target this year, and it'll make for a really awesome episode. The fourth thing I want to do is get a bigger gun with a reel. I've been eyeing out Hatch's um, new Ulua series. If you guys haven't um, watched it yet, go check it out. Really, um, really awesome gun um, as far as I can see, but um, that's one gun that I've been having my eye on is the new Alua series. If you guys have any suggestions for a new spearfishing gun, just comment them below. I'm open to pretty much anything. And the fifth thing I wanna do is um, get a new wetsuit. So if you guys have any suggestions on that, I like the Waihana suits. My friend Venture wetsuits make some pretty good ones. Uh, maybe I'll wait for his next launch. But if you guys have a wetsuit that you really, really like, then make sure to comment below, leave me some suggestions because I'm in need for a new wetsuit. Um, diving on another island, obviously, if I'm going to be fishing on another island, I'm going to bring my dive gear. Hopefully, I can do both at the same time. And the last thing, pretty simple, try three new recipes with my fish. I kind of always do kind of the same thing. So I want to change it up, do more catching cooks, and learn new recipes, maybe, maybe more than three, maybe like 10. Who knows? So 2019 travel goals for us. It's an awesome shot of Rainbow Bridge that, that was taken by yours truly. Um, when I was going Halalu fishing right over here in Haliva Boat Harbor. But um, my 2019 travel goals, first thing is I want to fish on the mainland. I'm going to be going in May with my wife and my family. We're going to be going on vacation. Um, so if I'm fishing on the mainland, I want to catch a big bass because I think that's just what people on the mainland do. Catch a fit, fish, saltwater fishing. Um, on the California coast, people catch halibut. Um, rock cod, ling cod. I want to catch a fish while saltwater fishing. I know if I go to warmer waters in San Diego, there's some chance for some tuna, some hamachi or yellowtail. Um, I think it'd be a lot of fun. I want to go diving on the mainland as well, which would mean I would need two wetsuits because it, it's freezing up there. Um, I've been, we're going to go to Vegas first in May. So maybe um, I'm going to go dive that lake or whatever they have over there. Um, there's some locals I know from Hawaii that have a little spearfishing club. Maybe I can link up with them, do some do some mainland spearfishing. So if I'm going to go spearfishing on the mainland, I want to catch a fish while spearfishing on the mainland. They could be really cool. I want to fish in multiple states. I'm going to be going to Vegas, California, uh, possibly Texas as well. And later this year, me and my wife are trying to go to New York. And we're going to go watch um, her brother play baseball in South Carolina, maybe visit a couple other states. So really exciting year. Hopefully I can fish in multiple states. And I, when I do that, I want to meet up with other um, fishing, spearfishing YouTubers, mostly fishing, obviously. But um, I think it'd be really cool. And the last point, I don't know. I kind of just left that out there. <laughs> All right. 2019 channel and business goals. So for the YouTube channel and the Team Fish and Dive Hawaii business, if you guys don't know already, we have a website, www.fishanddivehawaii.com. But right now it's kind of, you guys aren't able to buy anything there because I kind of paused it 
I shut it down a little bit. You can still visit it, but I'm working on a total new website interface. It's really cool. It's coming out pretty sick. And um, I just have to write a bunch of blog posts just so you guys get a bunch of content when I do launch the channel or launch the website. <clears throat> and um, second thing I want to do is create a spearfishing manual slash book, it's something that has been a goal of mine for many years because, um, as you know, I didn't start spearfishing until later on, late in high school. And um, along with the YouTube videos, I want to write a little spearfishing manual, a little book, so you guys can have something if you're new, want to get more in detail with some of the content as well as watch the videos and visit the website. I think it'd be really awesome. I do want to sell some awesome t-shirts and other apparel. I was selling a bunch of shirts on the website, but when I relaunch it, I'm only going to be putting a few of them back on top. And from now on, I'm only going to be selling super high quality shirts. I'm not going to go with the you know, they weren't cheap, cheap shirts, but they weren't as quality as I would like. And all I do, all I want is just quality stuff around the brand. So it's going to be really awesome t-shirts, really cool designs. And I'm going to be only releasing a couple at a time. So I'm going to be doing some launches there. Build a community. We already have an awesome fishing and diving community now. But as we grow, I want to keep this community strong so we can all help each other. And, get, and obviously, let's do the subscriber and follower goals. Get to 10,000 followers on Instagram and get to 25,000 subscribers on YouTube and give away a bunch of stuff. And like I said, or like somebody said in the comments, give away your spear gun, your old spear gun. I do want to give away a spear gun this year. So if I can make enough money around the brand and kind of get this thing going, then um, I want to give away like a whole spear fishing setup, like wetsuit, mask, fins, everything. That'd be really awesome just to give back to you guys would be really cool. And that's it. So let's do some q and A. I'm gonna hop out of this little presentation. And um, it looks like the most updated thing is on top of my phone. So let's do that real quick. Let me get out of here. Let me update my little browser right here. So yeah, if I'm looking down, it's cause I'm, I'm, I'm reading my phone. So let's do some Q and A guys. Oh, it's pretty up to date. You got 15 people in here. All right, who do we have in here? We have William in here, Kovacs, the Miniman 3000, Pono, OER Gaming, what's up? Major Shot, Tony Oahu. Aaron Johnston. What is your IG, Todd asks? Um, the Instagram is Team Fish and Dive, so you guys can go there. I go to Roosevelt High School. Which high school did you go to? I went to Wailoa High School here on the North Shore. Um, I graduated in 2012. Kind of give you guys my background a little bit. I went to... Um, Holly Elementary, growing up, born and raised, I was actually born in Wahiwa, but they don't do that anymore because I don't know. <laughs> Is a modern fit long sleeve oversized or fitted? So over gaming, um, you, um, the products are going to be on the website, but you can actually um, purchase it right, right now because um, I pause the purchase features on top of the website because I'm redoing the whole thing. So you can visit it and you can check out some of the things, but um, the modern fit is not oversized. It's, it's It should fit true to size because I, I do have um, have the long sleeve personally. I wear them. Um, Caden says, I go to Wilo High School, which did you not really share your question there, buddy? I don't know if you you've, um, cut you off a little early. Um, how do you, Aaron Johnson asks, how do you predict visibility? I coaxed my boss into letting me leave work for a few hours to go out at Wailupe. Swell is less than two feet and wind was minimal. Viz was pretty bad. What gives? Um, sometimes it's just like that. It's really, it's, it's hard. Um, I'm actually writing a blog post, um, 
about that topic. I did have a video a, about a month ago regarding that topic. But honestly, sometimes I'll show up to a spot and it'll look super clear, especially with my polarized glasses. And it ends up being terrible, like horrible conditions. Um, so as far as visibility, you know, if you go diving the day before and it's pretty clear, chances are it's going to be really clear the next day as well, unless it's raining or something. So rain is a big factor. Wind is a pretty big factor. But like you said, the wind was minimal. So I'm not sure if it was raining down that side. But um, yeah, and the weather is bipolar, Kovac says. Super strange. I just wish the water was flat and the conditions were prime, like summertime. Um, so yeah, the mini man, I go Roosevelt too. <laughs> See, let's build this little community here. A lot of people, you know, and we're gonna be doing a meetup soon. I think it's gonna be on the 24th. Yeah, so there's a little announcement for you guys who are here on the live stream. Um, just don't take my absolute word for it because I'm not um, too sure. No, it's not on the 23rd. It'll be on the 24th. That's a Sunday. So if you guys can make it, um, I kind of try to make it around spring break, um, which I know is like later on in the month of March. So if you guys have the week off even more so, hopefully you guys can make it out there. Not a lot of the subscribers go to um, – um are still in school so if you guys are on spring break maybe you can course your parents to come into the coming to the meetup um and i have a couple spots in mind where i'm going to be doing it but for sure it's most likely see not for sure but 90 percent sure it's going to be at um or on march 24th sunday morning what nightlight do you use or your gaming says so the one i have now is some like cheap chinese brand i think well i got it for christmas from my stepdad let's see if it's in here is this thing right here lit wad it's pretty bright the only thing i don't like is that it doesn't have the red lights because um i know for sure that the fish do not like bright lights so everybody especially all the good fishermen i know use the red light on top of the um on top of the headlamp so if you're using this super bright light every time yeah might affect might affect the fish coming in tbd fishing is in the house if you guys haven't watched their channel already go check it out they got some really awesome content there so yeah Tony Oahu, oh, that light is on Amazon. Pretty decent. Yeah, my, I got it. Like I said, I got it for Christmas. Uh, me and my brother got the same one. I actually lost mine going fishing a few weeks ago. So this is his, but he hardly fishes now. So he, he lent it to me, and I had this in my bag because I've been going fishing a lot lately. So updates on top of the fishing tournament that I entered in February. I didn't catch Jack. Didn't catch anything. I probably fish two, three times a week. I know there was one week where I hardly went, but um, yeah, I went fishing a lot. Didn't really catch much, spent a lot of money on bait, <laughs> but that's fishing for you. Um, I might be entering a tournament in March, but honestly, the fishing was kind of taking away from um, the YouTube channel and me being able to edit videos and stuff. That's why you guys haven't seen me post Two times a week, like I've been, like I was doing in March, is because all of the all of the um, days that I was going fishing super early in the morning is usually the times that I have to edit and work on some stuff and get ahead on some projects. So um, in March, I'm probably not going to be entering the fishing tournament. Uh, March Madness is what it's called. North Shore Pole Bendas puts it on, but I will be joining the uh, North Shore Pole Bendas Club hopefully in April is when their season starts or um, May. So um, I'm not going to be entering the fishing tournament in March, but I will be going fishing pretty frequently until the water gets flat and I'm going to I'm going to be doing more spear fishing, obviously. Um, all right. So where were we? Aaron Johnston, Sharpie does wonders. <laughs> um, when's your next invasive video? So um, like like whoever said earlier that the weather's been bipolar. Um, I haven't really had much time to go fishing, spearfishing, um, or I'm sorry, um, spearfishing. 
because the weather has just been really awful and the days that they um the weather has been good and the water's been flat i've had to work so i haven't had much time to dive i actually went diving last week and the water is super dirty and i didn't really you know stay out that long and i'm not really shooting anything i was chasing this one big blue uhu around for like like 45 minutes honestly because i was just in the shallows <laughs> but i didn't land it thoughts on more eel aaron johnson says um what are you you're gonna eat it because you can eat it um are you using it for bait also makes for good bait um or are you talking about more eels while you're spearfishing if it's dangerous or not they are pretty dangerous um just clarify a little bit and then maybe i can answer your question a little better tony wahoo i was away from some of the video is there a meetup coming coming up yes there's a meetup so for those of you guys who are joining um the um live stream now we did announce all of the giveaway winners so um i'm going to be putting them in the comments after this or putting it in the description after this um video is done so um, that's going to be the winners. But if you guys really want to know who the winners are, you can do that too, because I have the list right here. Um, and then we also did a presentation, kind of like our 2019 bucket list here on the channel. I thought it'd be really cool to share it as a live stream. And this live stream is kind of unorthodox, like I told the guys who have been watching from the beginning, that um, I'm doing this on Google Hangouts so I could share my screen as we did earlier. So. It's gonna be a little off, it's gonna be a little bit behind as I notice a little laggy probably as well. So <clears throat> there's that. Sup, William? Love seeing your growth, man. Keep up the grind, gonna go diving tomorrow, haha. <laughs> Hit us up if you ever come Big Island, stay safe and have a good one, bro. If you guys haven't watched TBD Fishing, go check out their videos. They do a lot of awesome stuff there. They do some really cool editing and um, they do a lot more fishing than I do. So <laughs> if you guys are into more of the fishing, go check it out. Um, huge support system for the channel and I really support um, what they're doing there and hopefully we can do a meetup later on this year. I may be coming to the Big Island in April. So for those of you guys who live on the Big Island, um, maybe I'll be coming up in April. Not a guarantee, I'd say it's more like a 30, 40% chance that I'm going and I'm gonna be staying on Hilo side and I may be in Kona for a couple of days as well but i'm only going to be there for less than a week catch a little fishing if i go swap meet i can get two full bo tackle boxes for 30 dollars yep he knows what's up if you guys go to the swap meet um pretty much any swap meet in hawaii i feel like but if you go to the one at the aloha stadium um there's that one section it's kind of more towards the freeway and the corner it's not in the outer circle of the swap meet it's a little more up and it's kind of by itself but that's where they saw all the fishing stuff and I know some of my uncles and cousins said that um, said that they caught some awesome, or that they not caught stuff, but that they found some awesome awesome things over there. They're super cheap. They also sell lead sometimes, really cheap lead. So if you guys have have a chance or have some um, some of your tourist family <laughs> visiting, then take them there and and go check out the fishing section over there. <clears throat> Aaron Johnson eating so. Mori eel eating. I have not ate mori eel yet. It probably does have Segaterra because they just grind on the reef fish, but um, you can't eat them. But there's a lot better stuff that you can eat in the water than than the eel. Unless you're referring to Ace Video's um, latest video where he, um, I didn't get to watch it yet, but he did eat a mori eel. So uh, I'm not too sure if he, he knows about Sigaterra and stuff, but he seems pretty knowledgeable about Hawaii, Hawaii fishing and stuff. So um, hopefully he's aware of that before he, he goes and grinds a bunch of more eels. Chippy the Chipmunk is a winner. So he's probably a giveaway winner. Um, so expect an email, Chippy. Congratulations. Catch a little fishing, and it's good stuff. Yeah, for sure um kovacs i caught a five-ish pound nanui um i've yet to catch nanui on a fishing pole i know some my friend catches them with squid you can lose use limo um as well but i have yet to catch a nanui while fishing honestly i don't think i've ever ate nanui i never did shoot one i think i three-pronged one one time but i usually give them away if i do like do that with three prong um, but yeah, what to do 
what to do you look for what do you look for in a new spear gun um i kind of just go with the same brands honestly <clears throat> or i'll ask the people there what they're shooting um but i like omer that's a good one i'll tell you one gun that i really don't like is a maris um for some reason the two three marises i shot really sucked <laughs> and if they reached out to me and wanted me to try or uh, wanted me to like represent them i probably wouldn't because you know i don't i don't have um i don't have um a good experience with those guns so omer i've owned a view shot marlin 105 centimeter carbon fiber gun that one was really awesome i traded that for some low poles which was pretty dumb because that was a really good gun um, I love Hatch's guns. Never Hatch Hatch's guns never failed me at all. But sometimes I like shooting the pipe guns. He also has a Hatch Gremlin, which if you guys know already, I lost that a few a while back in another episode. But um, yeah, Hatch makes some really good products. View Shot makes some really good products. Omer, um, Picasso, even who else? Um, KCS. Cap, pretty much all the wood spear guns here in Hawaii. Hammerhead is is pretty good for the price. Um, and let's see what else. Yeah, can't really think of anything else. <clears throat> oh, the the cold spear guns, they're pretty new, but they're really expensive. If you want to check them out. Oh, and aim right, aim right is a really good gun, but um, but they are a little pricier. So an aim right gun is going to run you more expensive than if you were to get like a really solid hatch whether it be pipe or wood spear gun so i'll just go with hatch honestly the answer is hatch custom spear gun um that's a little plug for them not sponsored although if you're watching mike hatcher <laughs> i really like your products um when you come into maui i don't know i don't really have family on maui I have one cousin that moved there from um, the Bay Area, but I haven't talked to her in a while. Um, so if you, if one of those one of you subscribers wants to host me for a couple of days, then yeah, me down. The gaming door Ace releases video invasives because he don't know. <laughs> um, I I watch a lot of his stuff. I haven't watched all of the Hawaii stuff, but um, it wouldn't surprise me too much. But he does seem pretty knowledgeable, so. Um, maybe I'll go ahead and comment on one of his videos if I do see him release invasives. Um, if you guys are catching invasives, if you guys haven't watched the last spearfishing episode, I think it was the last one. But if you guys are shooting Roy to Ape to Al, don't leave them in the water. Take them out of the water because if they do have Sigaterra, it can it can still spread on the reefs. If you guys take them out, just honestly, um, and I'm only saying this on the live stream, I usually just throw it in the bushes or I throw them in the trash. If I'm not planning on eating them, especially Roy. I have some friends that know people that eat Roy, but I don't know anybody that eats Roy. And I usually just use them for fertilizer or whatever. <clears throat> they're hella smart. Mm, I use bread. William says they're hella smart. Not sure what you're referring to. Maybe the Nanui. <clears throat> Nanui is prime Alua bait. That's what I heard. I never did use one for a little bit yet. Went fishing secret spot last night, Kanalu says. Are you talking about the Hidden Pier episode? Because I heard that place is action and like, I haven't got to fish there overnight yet, but uh, maybe that's a mission. Have you ever eaten a flounder if you never did go to some sandy waters? You can find them all over and they taste so good. I haven't yet. Catch a little fishing. I'm pretty sure you live on the east side and you said there's a lot of flounder on the east side. I haven't, mm -hmm. you know, targeted a flounder, never really seen them. And to me, it's kind of like when you guys are looking for taco. Um, when I go taco diving, I try to just stick to looking for taco. Because if you're going spearfishing, you're looking up. If you're going taco diving, you're looking down. And if you're doing both, you're kind of, you know, defeats the purpose of what you're doing. Although I do catch most of my taco while I'm spearfishing, just full on trying to hunt uhus and stuff. So yeah that does any good i was number two for the bonus giveaway so close justin taylor says well i'm hopefully we're going to be doing more giveaways soon after i relaunch the website um yeah i'm going to be doing more giveaways with that would you rather have a gun that floats or sinks um i'd rather have a gun that floats um to be honest 
Well, it depends. I'm not sure what you mean. Because most time when I shoot my spear gun, the gun will float up to the surface anyways. So I hope my gun floats. Kanalo says, call on Ava, one Papio, and one Oio. I know there's a bunch of Ava there because I did go golfing on Hickam. I'm not sure what that golf course's name. You guys can probably help me out there. Um, but I did go golfing over there on one of the holes. I think it was hole number eight or nine. I think it, yeah, I'm pretty sure. But there's like this river that runs through. And in that river, me and my friends seen like a huge Ava. We seen a big Alua chasing um, tilapia as we seen. Um, what else do we see in there? Oh, eel just cruising. So that place is action. Um, and that's exactly why they don't allow any base fishing when they do fishing tournaments. Um, so yeah, action. Sounds like an action dive or action fishing mesh, kind of look. How big was the papil and oh, eel and ava? What are your thoughts on night diving? I haven't gone night diving in a while. A lot of people go night diving for lobster. I don't really, you know, Oahu, I don't really know any lobster spots. Neither do I have a lot of friends that that do it. So I'm not going to say that I do go night diving. And I'm not really a big fan of shooting uhus at night because they do kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> um, the gaming door, who taught you how to dive? My papa and uncle taught me. So for me, I started diving with, okay, so... This is a whole nother episode, but I'll give you a quick rundown. I started spearfishing when I was 17 years old with a three prong that my friend lent me. And um, yeah, we go and just shoot holy holies at this one little spot that later on I found out, find out you're not even supposed to be diving over there. It wasn't a sanctuary or anything, but it was near a harbor. So and yeah, we're just blasting holy holies. And I was even shooting tilapias when I first started when I was younger. Um, so that's something. And then I got more and more into it, bought a spear gun. It was a 70 centimeter Cressy sub from Ace. Almost cut my finger off because it had metal wishbones and I didn't even know how to unload it. So, um, yeah. And then, yeah, I just kept going, kept going with guys better than me. Um, some of my partners that I go with now, I kind of started diving with them several years ago and they're kind of what helped me, who helped me get better. And now I just go with kind of whoever wants to go out with me. I just make sure that they're comfortable in the water and that they're, um, you know, that they know how to dive and swim and, you know, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, for those of you guys who are just joined in the live stream, I um, announced the winners earlier. So um, you guys can go back and do that. But if you guys really want to know who the winners are, I can announce it again here because I do have a little list. We also went over um, some bucket list things for the channel. And now we're doing just some Q&A, just a subscriber hangout for you guys. Um, all right, six pound Alba. That's a decent size Alba, five pound Papil. Um, I'm gonna ask you another question. What kind of Papil was it? Five pound eel. Those are all good sized fish, man. Congrats. Do you keep the fish over there? Cause I know, you know, they kind of tell you not to keep the fish there because it is um, in the military water and you know, you never know. But I see people, I'm pretty sure people take those fish home and they eat it. So let me know if you guys catch, if you catch the fish at the hidden pier and, um, and if you eat it or not. Because I'm going to be going there more often this year. Thoughts on Cressy Spear Guns? I'm looking for my first gun. Cressy Spear Guns are all right. You know, I haven't really tried anything other than, other than um, I think it's the Comanche. But I had a 70 centimeter. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. But... You know, Hanole Adric, really awesome diver, pro diver here. He's a diving legend here in Hawaii, um, but he's also from the North Shore. He was sponsored by Cressy for several years, so um, I know he was shooting them. They have a higher-end product, but if you're just getting started, you know, look at Hatch's pipe guns. The Hatch Gremlin is pretty affordable. He does a bunch of sales all the time. Um, Hammerhead is a good entry level, but um, I would go with Hatch if you're going to be starting off. And you can also look at Omer, View Shot. Those are all good guns. <clears throat> Five pound oil. Sorry, I read that already. Hi again from last live chat. What's up, Owen? Um, the Jason boy who was a winner. I just got in. Um, announced earlier in the video. Sometimes the best bait is $20 and you take it to Tamaris to catch some fish. That is true. But at the same time, 
you know, you pretty you feel pretty pretty junk about yourself if you buy a twenty five dollar one pound uhu. You know what I mean? So I hate buying fish from the store knowing that I can catch the exact same fish. That's why I usually just buy um salmon or ahi or shrimp. <laughs> That's the kind of that's the kind of seafood I usually buy. Obviously, some poke. A buddy and myself ran into a group of guys who basically told us they night dive almost every night, raping the raping the uhu. They literally told my buddy over forty uhu, and three nights. B O H president said, "Um, I seen that somewhere. Where did I see that? You you posted that somewhere. On, was it on Hungry Hungry Hawaiian or Mean Hawaii or Eight Hundred Eight R W?" Or one of the Facebook groups. Um, I I seen that you talk you're talking about that somewhere. Well, that's messed up. That's exactly why. Um, that's exactly why you see fish disappear on Oahu. It's not because of, of us fishermen and divers who you know, pretty much do what we do kind of as a hobby, as a passion, and go whenever we can. It's those guys that do it and just rape the reef. Um, sorry, I'm gonna get censored for that. But um, that just destroy the reefs by taking all these uhus and yeah, netting them, going with scuba tanks, night diving, and blasting a bunch of uhus. Forty uhus is ridiculous. Christopher Robin, Aloha, bro. What's up, man? Robert Car Carano, what island are you on? I am on Oahu, um, North Shore of Oahu is where I was born and raised. Um, and that's where I mostly fish and dive over here on Oahu. Have you ever come down to the big island and dive? No, I haven't. I used to live, um, I used to live in Kona when I was younger. Like when I was honestly from like two year old, two years old to like five, six years old. So I don't really remember. I do go back periodically because, um, we still own a house over there. Um, my grandparents do. So we go ahead and go and check it out. And that's where my grand my grandfather started his business. So um, we still have some assets over there. So I visit there every now and then, but um, I have never fished or dove there since. And I've never actually I never dove there. I fished there as a little kid, but that's different. The gaming dork. I ate Hallelu at MCB. Um, see, I don't think Hallelu is that bad because they go in and out of the harbor. Um, the fish that would concern me are the fish that are kind of just hanging out, like the kalas, the um, the kalas, the polanis, you know, those are the kind of fish that I'd be more concerned about. Even some of the um, predators, like the aluas, um, avas, you know, because they're just hanging out in kind of the same area. But yeah, thanks for the advice. No worries, Clayton. Thank you for your support. I saw it on 808RW. So that's where I've seen it. Um, that's pretty. I'm pretty sure that's where you posted it, BOH president. Um, but yeah, 40 uhus night diving is is ridiculous. A Cressy Comanche is good for 150. Cressy Cherokee open and ocean range at 325. Trigger pull is pretty good. I have these guns and the Apache. These are my favorite guns. So ATK Ryan, he knows a lot more about Cressy than I do. So um, I don't really know the price points. He has all the price points down. So yeah, if you're already looking at a Cressy and and you have like the right length to that you want to go with, then for sure, just pull the trigger by the gun. Um, I will say, I'm going to be making an episode about this, but if you're going to be buying a new spear gun, for those of you guys who are just getting started or are newer um, newer to the sport, get at least a 90 centimeter. Um, it's not going to hurt because, if you, say, if you don't like spear fishing and you want to sell a gun that's under 90 centimeters, there's a lot of guys that are gonna not going to be interested unless it's a whole gun specifically, like one of those smaller ones. Um, but for sure, get at least a 90 centimeter gun. Um, I prefer a 105 or a 110 centimeter just because you're going to kind of get the best of both worlds, whether it be like shot, really shallow water diving, even shooting in caves and stuff, um, which you should be doing with a three prong. But if you have a spur gun, then um, yeah, kind of get the best of both worlds. And it's going to be a good um, longer range gun when you guys are trying to shoot the more, um, the harder game. To go after <clears throat> all right so where else are we at he's on oahu as Moore says you should dive with my bro jasper barboza he's looking to dive with you tell him to dm me on instagram if you guys want to get a hold of me 
um, YouTube is kind of hard because I do get a lot of comments, so it's hard for me to keep up. And even when, like, say if you guys comment on one of my YouTube videos and I reply to you, um, I will get a notification if you reply back, but I won't be able to find exactly where you commented. So it's kind of hard for me to keep up with, you know, maintain, maintaining a conversation on YouTube. So just DM me on Instagram at Team Fish and Dive. Um, and for sure, I'll try to get back to you as, as soon as I can. Because I do get a little, quite a few mm -hmm. DMs on there, but not as much as I do get comments over here. Or if you really, really want me to um, answer you back, just email me. <laughs> um, I want to go diving with him, Robert says. Diving with who? Me or um, Jasper? I'm actually going to save that name, Jasper Bartles, obviously, but somewhere. I live on Oahu. Ezra says, I live on Kauai. Um, Robert says, Jasper Barbosa from Kalihi. Yeah, I'll go, you know, I'll go Instagram. I'll search him up right now. Ezra says, I live by Aki's Beach. I'm not too sure what that is, where that is. Um, and I'll tell you one thing, too. I don't really dive too much on the other sides of the island. If it's if the waves are up, I'll, be fi I'll, I'll go fishing on the North Shore. Um, I won't look for a spot to dive like how I did in my younger days. Um, so, yeah. Jasper Barbosa. Let's do a quick little search. Chubbs, is that his name? That's the only Jasper Barbosa that's coming up, guys. I don't know if that's him. I dive only at night. How about you? I don't dive at night. How long is your spear gun? My spear gun is my spear gun is 50 inches. I was trying to see if my spear gun is it's about to care, but it's not. I just have my fishing poles right here. <clears throat> shout out to Jack. Shout out Jasper Barboza from Kalihi Killa Diva. Okay, Christopher Robin is spamming me. <laughs> um how long is your spear gun i just answered that 50 centimeters do you sell merch yes i do but not right now so um yeah i'm gonna be starting to sell them again in um april or may let's hit some smallmouth. um like i said dm me on instagram at team fish and dive and i'll get back to you chris as long as you are not Ooh, you should dive with my friends like I said, if you guys if you guys want to um, go dive with me or if you guys want to try to set something up, just DM me on Instagram. I'll see what I can do. I hardly have um, free time because my days off, I do try to spend most of the day with my family. Um, and when I do go fishing or diving, I usually like hit up some of my personal friends to go fishing and diving with just because I know that they're comfortable. So, um, yeah, I own 100 centimeter Rob Allen. You know, Rob Allen, I never really tried it. I know they're tried and true obviously they've been around for a while so yeah they fought in alua who fought in alua yeah i like join you diving as well atk ryan um brody's always commenting on all my videos and stuff so yeah dm me on instagram um we can set something up the idk man i live on oahu what kind of wetsuit do you have like i said early in the video um on top of my bucket list i do want to get a new wetsuit looking at waihana suits yazbek makes some good suits um, my friend venture wetsuits as well maybe i'll wait for his next launch as he has something coming up um but the wetsuit i have now is an xl hex wetsuit and they don't actually work together anymore or have it they don't collaborate anymore so the wetsuit i have um the, you can still buy them at the xl shop the one in hollywood i'm pretty sure they still have it but hex makes their own wetsuits wetsuits now and if you guys watch shark week you guys know that hex is all over that too and they make some awesome wetsuits as well jobs yups not sure what you're responding to do a collab with shaka fishing capono brother capono he's the man um I DM'd him on Instagram a couple times. Last time when he did a collab or um, a meetup, subscriber meetup um, here on Oahu, um, I was trying to set something up with him. But um, our kind of schedules didn't line up. So maybe next time there, 
or we can go um we we'll go to the big island me and my family are gonna go next month and um yeah maybe we'll do a collaboration over there i can dm you or i can run you run into you in the parking lot again oh <laughs> Justin, are you the guy that I seen at Target? <laughs> you should die at Molokai. Um, see, that's a touchy one. You know, I, I've heard of a lot of stories of guys getting bust up Molokai and driving their bolts over there, but honestly, that's kind of messed up if you if you're gonna be driving your bolts all the way down there. Especially if you're not getting like um at least you have some kind of report with the person that's living in the property where you're diving. Because um, people, you know, the people over there, a lot of them, maybe not a lot of them, but um, they, they live off the land. They rely on the resources. And it's not like Oahu. Oahu is, you know, fished out. And I hate to say it, but it is. But if you go to Molokai and, and there's so much fish over there, people always want to dive. You know, it can get pretty annoying, especially somebody who's from Molokai. So um, I do want to set up some some fishing and diving missions over there, but I want to make sure that everything's, you know, squared away before I go. And I've already know, I already know a couple guys and some hookups that um, I can go fishing and spear fishing with over there. But if you do live on Kauai and then let me know, um, hit me up. Maybe we can plan something out there. I know some of my uncles and stuff, they go there just to hunt, but uh, maybe they'll take me um, fishing or spear fishing. Do you try to do invasive dives? um like just for invasives i do enter i have entered invasive tournaments but whenever i go diving i try to shoot as much invasives as, as i can because i do like eating to walk and i like blasting roy's too just because i know um you know roy's honestly if i was to hate one fish it'd be a roy because i i can't tell you how many times i shoot a roy and they spit out you know baby fish whether it be baby woohoo's or other small fish, especially when you cut them open just to see what they're, what's inside of their, their belly. Bro, those fish pound native fish. <clears throat> what is the best tasting fish in your opinion? In my opinion, um, well, it depends. Um, that would depend on my recipe, like what I'm, what I'm making. I think the best tasting fish, especially as a spear fisherman, is probably a kumu to be honest or any type of goldfish preferably a kumu just because that's my favorite fish to target but that's the best tasting fish in my opinion you know a lot of people like the moo but um i do make ceviche out of them you know so it's, it's a little different i like the steamed fish recipe bright colors for wetsuits do pretty well in hawaiian waters that's kind of why i was using i was looking at the yazbek um suits because they have that um Nohu suit, that bright red one. But yeah, Geeth says, okay, take care. See you later, man. Thanks for joining on the live stream. Yeah, man, LOL. So yeah, target with your fam. <laughs> yeah, that was that was fun. I like running into subscribers. I feel like I'm running into more and more of them. I just ran into a guy um, at Koalina. Uh, I think his name is um, Ikea, but super cool guy. Um, he actually hooked it up with like a parking stall over there, so. Yeah, big shout out to him if you're in the live stream. <clears throat> Aloha from Arizona. Love the videos. Thanks, Dwayne. Um, you know, hopefully I'm putting out some good content for you. If you have any video suggestions, and you know, feel free to comment in any of the videos and let me know. Or um, just send me a DM on Instagram. That's the best place to um, to get a hold of me. <clears throat> yes, we do live off the land, Pono says. So, yeah, for those of you guys who are thinking about going down Molokai with the boat, and trying to blast some fish over there, don't do it because it's not Pono. Um, make sure you let somebody know where you're going diving or at least have somebody on Molokai take you if you guys do go. <clears throat> Molokai fish don't move and people are great for taking care of the land and ocean. Exactly. One time I saw an eagle ray. A lot of people say eagle rays have kagamis behind them, which is the um, mirror jack. I think it's what it's called. Um, there's a different name for them um, on the mainland. I think they call it African Pompano. Not sure, but um, they tend to chase eagle rays. I have seen it one time when I was just free diving down Sharks Cove. But um, yeah, um, if you guys see eagle rays, then go check out um, check out and see if there's some alulas chasing it because that's a thing. <clears throat> What's up, Dwayne? How's it, everybody? What's going on? I'm kind of behind right now, so let me get caught up. Did you hear about the invasive mullet? 
No, I haven't. Um, send me that link, or let me let me see the link. I wanna I wanna look into that. <clears throat> I'm going to quiet this summer. Which fish should I look for? Um, honestly, just watch all of my videos. <clears throat> watch especially the Hawaii spearfishing fishing ethics um, regulations um, video that I did. Kind of give you like a lay down so you don't get beat up if you go fishing or spearfishing. In um, yeah, <laughs> just go watch that video. I don't mean to scare you or anything, but um, just make sure you're not, you know, just blasting a bunch of little fish. Um, just don't do that. Go watch more of my videos. I sh I'll, I'll show you guys all the fish that I shoot, especially with the three prong, which is probably what you're going to be doing. Do you burn before you dive? Um, no, I don't. I don't smoke anymore. I'm, um, yeah, I used to in college college days but yeah i don't i don't do drugs guys hate to say it but i don't still at work todd says watching from work <laughs> sometime this month sorry i'm kind of having a hard time ran into fans okay try to look for a little case i like see you in video one day if can so i know a couple of little houses that i do check periodically but like you guys already know the weather's been pretty boss lately so I haven't been um, able to go as much, but um, I my friend just got his boat um, ready to go. He has a 24-foot boat. I have another friend who just bought a, a smaller boat, and my uncle just bought a bigger boat. So, yeah, be going on more boat dives. I've also been getting a few invites <clears throat> from some subscribers on going off the boat. So if we can do that, probably find a lot more little caves. You look like a cop, for be honest. <laughs> Yes, I want to see some little caves. Um, yeah. You are a police officer, bro. I seen you somewhere. I want to look into these invasive mullet too. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. It's on YouTube pretty recent on the big island. Well, I'll go I'll go ahead and look that up. Probably Google it too. Um, I have a couple of my followers and stuff that you know work for KHON. Um, so sometimes I DM them about some stuff. So yeah. <clears throat> I know I swear I've seen you in a cruiser. Maybe it's a haircut. This is like a cop haircut, right? Maybe like a military haircut. Aloha, all the way from the island of Saipan. Keep up the good work. Thanks, man. Thanks, Mana. Um, shoot me a DM. I'll follow you back. I want to see some of the action you got over there. Um, I may have spoke to you a long time ago. I feel like you've been a long time subscriber. So, yeah. <coughs> Ezra Moore, I watch your vids. Well, thanks, man. You're watching one of my videos right now. Yeah, the weather is kind of good on Kauai, so I might go dive. Um, one of my good friends lives on Kauai. His name is Caleb. Um, I don't know if you guys know him, Caleb Bertofu. But he just slayed some fish a couple of days ago when the water when when the weather was prime. So yeah, maybe link up with him and dive. Um, hopefully, hopefully I can go dive in Kauai soon. So, Christopher Robin, you part Hawaiian? Yes, I am. Mostly Hawaiian Irish. That's why I look kind of holly. What? Not I'm not, I'm not mostly Hawaiian. I'm part Hawaiian, but I'm mostly Irish. Sorry. Smo says, go look on my Instagram. I get all my fish. Me and my friends had true. It's me, boys. Yeah, I'll go check it out. You laying that too? No, I don't. When is the next catch and cook? Haha. <laughs> um, I'm doing another catch, like a spearfishing episode soon out on Koalina side. But um, I haven't cooked any of the fish yet. It's still in my freezer, so I may just send out that web, send out that video just like that. Um Dwayne Sakaguchi, do you throw net? No, I don't. I used to when I was younger. Me, my my friend would lend me his net, but um, no, I haven't bought a throw net yet. Um, I do. That's something I do want to get into, but I know it's a lot of work. You gotta know your spots, and right now I just kind of have time for just fishing and spear fishing. <clears throat> See how much people we got in this chat. Better if I can see it on top of my phone. Mm. 
<clears throat> Still got 20 people in here. Anybody else have any questions or anything? I don't know how long I've been on this live stream. I feel like it's been a while. No, it's been an hour. Um, how many of you guys? How many of you guys um, follow us on Instagram, Team Fish and Dive? Go check it out. Try to post stuff. You know, multiple mm -hmm. times a day, I feature a bunch of fishermen and divers. Make sure you're not blasting um, illegal fish because I won't post it. I did it once because there's a bunch of kids in one picture, and I didn't really look at the picture good. I got a bunch of heat for that on the Facebook group, and I had to freaking yeah. So it's pretty mental. You're going to tag me in pictures. Don't tag me in illegal fish or don't tag me if you're going to be shooting like 20 uhus. I'm not going to post it. Good job on your videos. Thanks, Ezra. Do a Giyotaku. Um, I haven't done one yet. I might in my next um, catch that I think is print worthy. Um, there's a couple people that I'm going to visit. I do want to do like kind of like a sit down interview style. Uh, maybe do some behind the scenes stuff with Desmond Thane. Um, super cool guy. I met him at the um, the Ocean Expo last year. He was in the diving tournament as well. And um, he's he's a really cool guy. Hopefully, I can do like a kind of interview with him, maybe dive with him one day. But I know that guy's a hammer diver. So, yeah. Where's a good beach for a beginner diver to spearfish on Oahu? Well, it depends. If you're staying at an Airbnb on the west side, you know, I can't really help you as much if you um, – Stay if you, you you're staying in a hotel in Waikiki. I'm pretty sure that it's an illegal year this year. Every other year is um is um shut down, considered sanctuary. Kind of let the fish re um re re what would the word be breed <laughs> or take a breath even. So um depends on what side of the island you're gonna be on, what kind of gear you got, obviously, and yeah. I think I just followed Instagram Rebel Olero. Yeah, I'll go check it out, dude. Maybe you did. Let's see right now. Instagram has been growing pretty fast. Too. At one point, the Instagram was bigger than the YouTube, and YouTube was bigger than the Instagram. It's just been going back and forth. So, yeah, pretty nuts. Aloha Aaron followed me. Mana Reyes followed me. Oh, there we go. Got him. Um, maybe he did. I don't know. I get like, I usually get like 10, 15, so 10, 10, 15 followers a day. So yeah. All right, Dwayne, see you in the next live stream. I'm going to do, be doing these more often. New video is going to be up on Tuesday. It's going to be a little bit different, but I promise it's going to be really exciting. So check it out. Dwayne, thanks for um, joining the live stream. So if anybody's new in the live stream right now, we're doing Q&A right now. We already announced the winners. Um, we also went over like a fish and dive bucket list um, for 2019, what I want to do here in Hawaii as well as when I go traveling later on. So yeah, <clears throat> um, again, let's go over some of the, the bucket list things. I wanna shoot, um, I wanna shoot a big Olua this year. I wanna catch a big Olua on a fishing pole. Pretty much everybody's goal, right? You know, catch a big Olua, shoot a big Olua. What's the biggest fish you caught? 28 pound Ava is the biggest fish that I caught, um, which is a milk fish, not an Ava Ava, which is a lady fish. The milk fish, a little bit different. Schooled up some on the North Shore. Really awesome spot. Shot it around 20, 25 feet depth on off of a 40, 50 foot drop off. It was really cool. Killer J, when is the next giveaway? Well, depends on how fast the channel is growing. Maybe I'll do one at 4,000. We'll see. I'm at 3,100 now. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> What's up from Florida? What's up, Ho'o Nui? Do you live in Hawaii now? Gold is a marlin. Yeah, bro. ATK Ryan. Bro, what's your Instagram, Ryan? So I can go ahead and check it out. Because I'll be honest, I don't follow. Okay. Now I see it. Rebel Alero. Perfect. Bro, you deserve way more followers than you have. I can help you with that. <laughs> Shh, sh, sh. 
Sick, bro. Awesome, awesome feed. I just started following you on Instagram. Let's just do like follow for follows over here, dude. Uh, what is your stuff? Todd, keyboard. Uh, all right. Okay. Follow you too, even though you got two pictures. <laughs> Jay. Um, is Jay in here? I'll follow you back if you're in here. Aloha, Aaron. Um, haha, that would be nice. Yeah, bro, you should start using more um, hashtags. I can full on. Yeah. Awesome stuff. So what you're doing is kind of what I want Fish and Dive to be more of because right now we do mostly features. So um, I'll feature you on top of the Instagram a lot. Just just tag me in it so I can do that. And um, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Yeah. But yeah, you have a bunch of hammer divers following you. You got Blake, Yazbek wetsuits, Tony Venture wetsuits, Holly, Adric, Gary. Gary's a cool guy. That guy's a hammer too. Johnny Pastana. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. So with the website, I'm probably gonna be relaunching it. Um, let's see. Maybe like mid April. It's kind of hard because I don't I don't have a whole lot of free time. March is gonna be you know kind of like a, it's a longer month, so I have a lot more free time this month, and especially because it's gonna be my birthday later on this month, so I want to hit a lot of my goals before then. So yeah, um, yeah, the website's gonna be relaunched probably around April, mid April, maybe right right around the month. We'll see. Like I said, I gotta redo the whole website. I kind of have the frame and the template of it down. Um, if you guys visit the website now, it's gonna, that's the old one. You can't buy any shirts or any hats or anything on there. But the new website is going to be totally redone. It's going to be more educational. Like I'm going to be having more blog topic, topics and stuff, having, having some featured writers on top. I have a few friends that are willing to write some articles just to help a lot of the beginners out, maybe give you guys some more advanced tips, especially surrounding myself with other guys who want to write topics who are a lot better than me. So, yeah. <clears throat> I go fishing for ahi down bro. Why don't you invite me on your boat so I can go with you? Um, what is the biggest uhu you ever had catch caught? Um, 10, 10 point something pounds is a big blue. Um, I'm gonna be putting together an uhu tactics video. I know a lot of you guys have been interested in that. So when I do that, I'm gonna include that in it. Just because it's it's an older video. So um yeah, you know, I, I can't really make episodes out of my older footage that I had before I started the YouTube channel just because now that I have a framework of how I like the videos to go, then, um, then yeah, I can't really make episodes around that unless I make it kind of like a montage slash um, doing like a video like Uhu Tactics. Um, shoots, thanks. No worries, man. I think I followed you back, um, Killer J. Diamond Head Waikiki Protection Zone only extends slightly north of the aquarium, right? Um, I honestly can't answer that question. I've only dove there twice, and it sucked. We dove right next to, um, to be honest, I don't really know. I think it was next to the park over there, right past the aquarium. There's a park. Um, I heard there's, like, a aggressive Galapagos over there, and I just seen, like, a bunch of, like, reef fish like the ones that you don't shoot. Um, I seen a couple um, Maninis and some super skittish uhus. That's all I've seen. <laughs> and the one thing I don't like about diving on the salt side, um, it's cause I feel like I have to swim so far. Um, like I dove uh, Kahala side a couple times um, and yeah, but I never did dive, or actually I did dive Makai Research Pier once and we swam out hella far. So, you know, it's not it's not worth it to me to um, go all the way on the other side of the island when I can just go fish or right down the road. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm not sure how to do much on it, but post videos. Well, videos are are what works. You know, people like watching the videos. Plus, what happens when when people watch videos is they stay on Instagram longer, and that's what Instagram is all about. 
So um, as long as you can post videos that people like, um, use more hashtags, you should be able to grow a little faster. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll shoot you a DM too. So yeah, let's do let's do that. Are those Gio Taco behind you? Mila looks sweet. Thanks, Finnegan, Arthur. I'm not sure which one's your first name. Probably Arthur. Yeah, that's little Milu. I got that done by uh, Naoki. And this one is done by my friend Gary. Um, Sakana Sniper, you guys should go follow him on Instagram. Super cool guy. <clears throat> he he has a lot of action too. If you come to Kauai, you get some mean dive spots for you. Yeah, bro. Smells. Hold on. Let me follow you right now. At it's me, boys. Hold on. It's for me, boys. Is it it's boys with two S's, right? There you go. <clears throat> Kill a teacher, you get plenty of young grass hoppers. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, I do. Call me Mr. Miyagi. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to be hopping off soon. Um, let's stick on for like maybe five, ten more minutes. If you guys want to do a little more Q&A, um, if you guys are just joining, we're doing some q and I'm going to be hopping off in like 10, 15 minutes, go so spend some time with the family. Um, got to work tomorrow, so got to wake up super early. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I just sent you a follow request, so if you got the follow request, um, that's me right there, Team Fish and Dive. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram already, um, just hit the follow button. If you guys are subscribed to the channel, you'll like the content over there. So we got 13, oh, 14 people watching now. <clears throat> so again, I'm going to be posting the giveaway winners. After this live stream goes up, I'm going to go and change the description and uh, post who the giveaway winners down there. I'm not going to include your email address because, yeah. Um, here's another question. What kind of conventional reel you have? Oh, uh, I have one right here. Hold on. Is it that? I have the infamous 4-0 Senator. And the reel that I like even more than that is the Panda Warfare 30. This is kind of like the sequel to the Jig Master, which is another, you know, OG reel. So, yeah. Those are the two conventionals. But the one thing about fishing that, you know, uh, happens with me, I always kind of buy and sell poles pretty pretty fast. So, yeah, um, I have a new oil and a pen. I had a new oil. Well, it was my brother's new oil, and he traded it with his pole for a RC car, which is pretty chronic, but, you know, so what it is, have you tried single sub, prime line, small ID bands? Not sure what that is, um, Ryan. All right, Bill, see you in the next video. Thanks, Killer J. See you in the next one. New video coming out on Tuesday. Like I said, March, I'm not going to be entering the fishing tournament, so I'm going to have more time to post stuff up here. I kind of want to, you know, um, because I'm going to be posting twice a week, I'm going to change up the content so you guys will have the normal stuff as well as some, like, different things. So Tuesday's video is going to be a torching video. Um, so if you, guys, you guys probably already know what that is. I feel like most of the guys in here are <clears throat> pretty ed educated with fishing and diving already. But I'm going to be posting a torching video, uh, reef walking the reef, obviously, at night. Um, low tide some action that's the video that's going to be on tuesday i got a spear fishing video coming up i got a few fishing tutorial or fishing tips episodes coming up and um yeah so really really cool stuff coming and i also want to change it up do some catch and cooks on the beach um and yeah done that before william says yeah bro it's fun that was the first time i went torching since like high school with this with my same friend that i used to go torching with so it's gonna be an exciting episode. We catch a couple couple things you'll you'll see inside of that video. Spear gun rubbers, <clears throat> single sub, prime line, small demands. No, I haven't. 
usually with with the spear gun rubbers i don't tie my own i just go to the shop i go to um west side dive and um yeah i let them do it let them change it out for me with the spear gun i have now the hammerhead um i'm gonna be selling that gun <clears throat> because i just i want a bigger gun it's a 50 inch which is big enough but i'm used to the 55 inch or at least a 110 now and um if if i have that gun you know i'm good to go probably not going to be selling the next one that i get but um yeah i bought that gun because you know kevin hooked it up um with a pretty good pretty good deal on it so i pulled the trigger i already had a hatch amaro at the time so i sold the older gun that i had um because i just bought a new one and you know i don't like having more than one gun at a time just can't afford it so i sold my hatch amaro and now i, I kind of regret you know selling my bigger gun so now i'm going to be selling the 50 inch um because it's pretty much brand new and i'm going to be upgrading to a bigger gun maybe the hatch customs or lua series i'm pretty sure he launched it um already maybe not maybe next week yeah i'm in high school 16 years old king call dj maui yeah i never i never did dive fish on maui <clears throat> all right guys i'm gonna be heading out um if you guys want to you know continue the conversation feel free to dm me on instagram at team fish and dive i'll see you guys in the next episode i'm gonna give you guys like another minute if you guys want to ask any last minute questions um if you guys should be getting emails from me we do like a bunch of um if you guys enter the giveaway you guys should be getting an email um kind of like an introductory stuff we're going to be doing more tips inside of the um, emails and when i relaunch the website i'm going to be offering you guys exclusive discounts and and exclusive exclusive content on top of there so um yeah if you guys don't like the emails you guys can unsubscribe anytime and um, i hope you guys all have a good day have a good weekend you know weather's clearing up hopefully you guys can go jump in the water go dive go fish um hope i hope you guys have a good one spring break is coming up for those of you guys who are still in school and we're going to be doing a meetup on March 24th. All right, Arthur. Actually, I might be coming to Washington later on this year. So keep in touch, bro. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Shoots Mahalo. See you later. Bye-bye.